Yeah, so hello everybody. My name is Dimitri. I'm the last one for today and for this semester. Um, my project is corresponding to this at the bottom of the Meteora page and it's called Pan to Mine. It's learning by watching others. It's learning by watching yourself. It's learning by imitation. It's following a panorama. It's expression in silence. It's practice saying, practice practicing, and practice watching. It's pantomime. So what is my take? I will take characteristic characteristics into this house, which will be introduced by text and by certain figures. I will introduce capacities as spectral spectres of images. And I will add another layer to bring this together or to frame it as one, but there is still, of course, overlaying all the time and zoom ins and zoom outs. It's about hosting. At and it's about being hosted. And maybe to break this down with a very seemingly banal example, we have some kind of a fourfolding in this project. And we always have something like leaves or wood or characteristics like that these plants need water and they stand still. They stand still until a certain kind of eruption occurs. And you can somehow color them differently, but they still kind of stay of a certain character. and they still have their own face. So this first kind of additional layer is called makeup nutrients because nu nutrients make up and it's connected to the notion of incorporation. And here we have a spectrum of images that is called dance of the pseudonyms. And the second one is called painting silhouettes. The second one is called conduct proteins because proteins conduct and it's related to the notion of rhythm. Here we will inherently let loose. And it's about cutting into volumes of air. <clears throat> the third one is of bartending blood. And it's related to the notion of communication. And its first spectra of images is called mating dance of emotional haircuts. And it somehow feels like bright Dadaistic dresses. And then we have the Midnight Snacks of Sunshine. 
and it feels like woozy, expressionistic pajamas. And then we come to something which is called philharmonics. And it's related to the notion of attitude. And here it's about can't sleep, make music, which feels like hazy pop art jogging pants. And the last one is called Swing in Oily Ornaments. And it feels like cloudless, carnivalesque impressionism. So then. That song is shit in a can. So we start with the guest. The show is over. This momentary flood of light, this overdose of empathy goes first to the brain and then to other parts of the body. I was dissolved in the festivity like salt in water. Exhaustion is here to stay with me. I give it that. On my way, I see myself in an open air diplomats club, see shaved men, soon into tailor-made clothes. I think of 101 things to do in Brussels when I'm dead. I realize I want to stroll atop my own mistakes. So I wipe off this narcotics to not ask for illusion anymore. As long as I move the figures, I live. I go through some streets of the city that have changed a great deal from the way they were a couple of hours ago. 
I'd rather see sweat than tears on these rain-swept streets. Before arriving, I'm no longer the same. Instead, reborn. I feel I'd like to climb up to the top of some high place. I'm a guest in this house. However, I write, I write the guest list. I'm not scared at all to walk up and ring the bell. To remove the guest would be to kill the host. They comprise one symbiotic entity. The hospitality of the host makes me another host for the same servant. If someone knows all too well that I am not a host, it is the servant. But what if the servant invites me in to let me take a seat in the waiting room? The hosts. We lay things out how we, how we want. Still, there is a play of uncertainty and excitement. We want to be present, we want to hide, we want to be polite, cheerful and decisive. We want to be inside and merge with the house, with the world. If you want to be able to play all the notes humans can hear, we'll need to add some keys to the piano. We will stay until the end, even though we mostly don't really know what to expect. As an effort to moderate that, that surprise, we always try to produce a vibration of its own identity. We believe in a fertile aspect of violence, like when you become aware of how, you, how your skin feels. We took a seat in this house. We strike a balance or perhaps a tension. We collect, collect a bright stack of copies with a display sign saying how popular and, in, and important we are. Ha <laughs> ha. But still, we do not need to be clever. Yet, we are able to appreciate the cleverness of others. We want you to feel like a blind visitor observing the house habits, like a seduction. It got us all staring out the window, watching shadows touch the light. And it feels like the sun is laughing with us. We got company. We are free now. The way we understand and look at the world in the past was no more real than what we do now. We have two faces that can be smelled and touched, that touch glasses and smack while they eat. We have our face that can be liked and followed. The real world space is taken as a scene. The moment we enter our house, this scene turns inside out like the finger of a glove. The house, the show and the family reflect all together how we manage to play with the clown. Well, clowns have always been creepy. We just don't, don't run away from a clown if we see one. We like to take risks. The servant. My soul always lives in those parts of the body that I need at a given moment to carry out a certain activity. I know when Charlotte and Boris choose to lie calm. I learned to observe when a fire that can warm enriches the atmosphere, when it serves a subtle diffuse intimacy. I feel devoted to act as the heart and the brains of a world dedicated to this little family to clean the dirty dishes and to throw away the broken glass, to combine charm with efficiency and making this home remain a place of privacy and recreation. What is called truth is absorbed by the sun, 
flickering through custom-made light brown curtains. Just enough essential and romantic energy surfing the plants which are set out as carefully as the furniture. Low wooden stools of Guarani ori origin, baskets of all sizes and for every purpose. I open the windows to welcome the world, but let its frenetic noise get lost in the carpets. Huge potted plants and under their feet the carpeting, thick and soft, colorful as one's memory of a wild safari ride somewhere out in the woods of Brazil. Gradients and lines made of bamboo silk, which now serves as the stage for the first steps of the little baby. This is where the children will store up memories that can never die. The clown, I dress up, I paint my face while laughing. I'm positive I have a body, at least a vessel. A body can be anything. It can be an animal, a body of sounds, a mind or an idea. I'm not static at any point. I'm in a state of constant movement and change. What was normal yesterday is no longer normal today. You're welcome to be the conductor. But be aware, the emotional pressure that you lose the ability to distinguish what you were doing. So I guide the pace. I choose from a diverse repertoire that I connect with. I'm an actor in your fantasy and the character that hides the shame. I cannot, I cannot tell you what you need, what you search for. I'm here for anybody to defend one's own viewpoint against others. I say in the first place that I entertain, and that's why you see me acting. You've chosen to be passive. You've taken the liberty of saying nothing, but a custom still holds in the mime. My toes of the left foot were paralyzed, but those of the right foot could still be moved. Charlotte and Boris get used to play with me. They only echo on how I sway, how I twirl, and how I stretch my limbs, as long as the rhythm of accepting and giving is sustained. They have embraced the silence.
Yes, thank you very much.